In this lecture, we will learn how to sync lock tracks to prevent accidental shifts. Currently, I have three tracks open. If I shift any of the tracks, the other tracks are unaffected. Only one track can be shifted at a time. This may be the desired behavior, but sometimes you may want otherwise. For example, if you are editing a podcast, you may want both tracks to be moved at the same time. Otherwise, the talk of host and guest will be out of sync. We can achieve that by sync locking tracks. Go to tracks and click on sync lock tracks. It will lock all the tracks in sync. It is kind of a global audacity setting. You either turn on the sync lock or keep it off. You cannot directly choose which tracks will be locked. All the tracks will be locked unless you add a label track or time track in between them. I will get to this point shortly. You can see an icon in the tracks information panel. It means these tracks are locked. If you select some part of a track, you can see the lock icon on other tracks. I selected both the top tracks, so the lock appears at the bottom track. Let me try to select only one track. I am starting to drag from one track to another, so both tracks are getting selected. Now I have got it right. You can see the locks inside other tracks as I select this one. So you get a visible confirmation when tracks are sync locked. If you drag any one track, other tracks will move with it. A very handy feature for the multi-people podcast. Host and guests are always in sync. It is also handy for other multi-track projects where you want the relative position to be fixed. But what if you do not want every track to be locked in this way? For example, you do not want to lock the third track with the other two. I said at the beginning that sync lock is a global configuration. You either turn on the sync lock or keep it off. There is a workaround to unlock a track from the rest. You have to add a time track or label track in between the tracks. A label track is added at the bottom, and it has the lock icon too. The label track is actually sync locked with the other tracks above it. To be sure about that, I will add a label inside. If I move the track and the label moves, it will mean it is locked. You can see the label is moving with other tracks. The label track or time track is used as a grouping mechanism for sync lock. Tracks before a label track are grouped together. Tracks after a label track gets a separate group. I move the label track up, so the label track and the upper two tracks are now grouped. They will move together, but not the tracks after that label. The track after the label can now be moved separately. Sync lock makes podcast editing easier. Otherwise, if you delete something from one track, the other track will be out of sync. It will appear the other person started talking at the wrong time. I will drag another audio file here. The new file is added at the bottom. The tracks after the label track got a new group. You can see only the two tracks after the label track are moving but not the tracks above that. Because a label track creates a separate group. So the tracks before the label track are one group, and the tracks after the label track are a separate group. I will adjust the track height so that we can see all the tracks on the screen. Go to View, Track Size. Click on Fit to Height. You can now see both groups are moving separately. You should understand another thing about sync lock tracks. If you delete something from a track, the synced part of the other tracks will be deleted as well. It does not matter which track you are selecting. Deletion will happen in the synchronized part of the other tracks. So you should be careful that the desired part from other tracks is not getting deleted when you do this.